Hello. Navigating the maze. Red room. Red room. I mean, for a different one, that's not bad. Or we're going to actually go on one. So we want that one. one. We took that one. Uh, no, that's a different, that's a that's different, different perspective. One. Yeah. That is a different We took this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then let's take this one. What are you looking for? She's looking for the thing. For what? The thing. So um, we went to uh, Cary Park. I got some spectacular views. Hey, you can't really make it out. Uh, we uh, went to um, check out. Uh, the troll under the Aurora Bridge in Fremont. We walked around Fremont. No pictures. No pictures. <laughs> okay. And um, we went to Green Lake, Greenwood. Um, and, uh, Kirkland. <laughs> that was a ruse. Ristorante. Coffee. Um, we traveled around a bit the first day. Um, and then... Uh, oh, we went to the uh, Cholule uh, Garden and Glass Museum, which was spectacular.
one that got the most responses for some reason. This. The floating. This the floating. The floating idiots. The one, <laughs> the green no screen email. one. So, Debbie Bora says, yeah, "Oh, so right. nice, great picture." And my response is, "We are hovering over we Seattle in our jetpacks from the future." Yeah. And Debbie Bora responds, and then she says, "You all look great, missing Jennifer." And I say, "She's anti-jetpack for some reason." And then Gibb says, the space needle looks on top of your head, Mark. Well, did you respond? And Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Scar Scarce? Scarce? Cersei? Scarce. Cersei. Scarce. It's Scorsosi. Tommy Scorsosi <laughs> says, awesome. How do you pronounce this last name? Scorsese. Scarce. 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 He's uh, Martin Scorsese's nephew. Uh, when we got to Portland, Oregon, um, uh, apparently they had this uh, record-setting snowstorm a week ago. Um, there's still snow on the ground there. Uh, but most importantly, um, they don't know how to deal with snow in Portland. Uh, they don't even know what it is. Um, it's like that no one there knows how to ski or, or knows what snow is. Um, it's a new thing to them. So um, the... Uh, the snow piles on the side of the highway, I-5, were uh, melting and drifting into the highway and then freezing as ice. Um, so the, the, the left lane, uh, the passing lane, <clears throat> or uh, as it is commonly used, the speeding lane, uh, was a solid sheet of ice. And uh, sure enough, some idiot in a Cadillac spun out and hit this 18-wheeler uh, flatbed truck so they were blocking the left two lanes and we were trapped in this death trap of a traffic jam for a good half hour uh, which is only like a, a mile or two um, so when we finally got around it we got up to it we noticed the door was wide open to the cadillac no one was in it um, I have no idea if anyone was in the truck. There was no people. These were just abandoned vehicles in the middle of the highway with no emergency vehicles, police, ambulance, no tow trucks, nothing. No, just abandoned vehicles. Um, so. When I see the sun, I hope it shines on me. Gives me everything. Well, almost. Some people seem to be just small, hard peas. Sometimes I think it's me. When I see the sun
Here they pop. Those <laughs> pop things. <laughs> Part of it. Everybody's running. We don't have any money for staff. I wish we did. I mean, we could if I had really like dedicated myself to like sitting in an office at a computer. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 